What's up everybody? Go Burns, welcoming you to another installment of my Discuss series. And tune in to the end of this episode because you, yes you, will have an opportunity to participate in next week's Discuss video. Now I feel like that this is deja vu for me, or Groundhog Day, because I feel like I've made a video like this in the past, or maybe more than one video. Or maybe it was a parallel universe version of me that made a video like this. Or it could have been a rant. But I looked through my Discuss playlist and I didn't see a similar video, at least in title. So it's possible that maybe I never did this video before and this is my very first time ever doing it in this version of Earth, right? All right, so it seems very, very obvious by now to most of you that there is a serious misclassification issue when it comes to the vehicles in Grand Theft Auto Online. And I realize that there's a very real possibility that Rockstar will never listen to any of us, myself and other content creators that have made similar videos, you know, asking and begging and pleading with Rockstar to fix this growing problem. It would be nice if they did, but I fear that that's not going to be the case. But I still feel like I need to throw in my two cents for what that's worth. The reason why I'm bringing this up is, well, two recent vehicles that have come out. The Doomsday Heist last week introduced a lot of military-themed vehicles, but also some, you know, basic vehicles. One of those vehicles is actually really cool. Well, two of them, actually. But we'll specifically talk about the uh, Pariah, an awesome, sexy car. And it is now the fastest sports car in the class. It's so good that not only does it put the LG in second place, it's a distant second place. And I tested it during a live stream against uh, some other supercars like the XA21, I think maybe one or two other ones. And I've noticed a trend, not only from me, but from other YouTubers out there and other players that have tested this. It's actually better than a lot of supercars. In other words, the Pariah is misclassified. It should not be in the sports class. It should be in the super class. Yesterday, uh, Festa Surprise 2017 rolled out and we got a vehicle, the Sentinel Classic, AKA the Mafia Sentinel or the Leone Sentinel from Grand Theft Auto 3. Now I realized that the OG Sentinel from Mafia 3 had four doors and this version has two doors. That's just what happens when you have the transition from the 3D universe to the HD universe and the multiverse of Grand Theft Auto, right? Anyways, it's supposed to be based off the old school Grand Theft Auto 3 Sentinel. That's not the issue. It's called the Sentinel Classic, which means that you would think that it would belong in the sports classic category. No, it's in the sports class, and uh, it's not even in the top five or the top ten of the sports class. Another prime example of a vehicle misclassed. Now, if we go over to the Rockstar Social Club, you may notice that there are several classes in the game already. We got boats, commercial, compacts, coupes, cycles, emergency, helicopters, industrial, military, motorcycles, muscle, off-road, planes, sedans, service, sports, sports classics, super, SUVs, utility, vans. Now, I'm not going to go into all these classes because there's 21 of them, but we'll go into a few of them to cite some examples of vehicles I feel like are misclassed and should be reclassed to something else. And honestly, I think that we need at least maybe three more additional classes. And I'm going to go ahead and mention them. Truck. This is something I've been talking about for a long time now. In fact, years ago, I did a trunk rant, I believe, and I even did a Saddler rant. Now, I did the, the Saddler rant about something else regarding the Saddler, because I like that truck, but as you'll notice in the video, it's not exactly in a category that would make sense for a truck to be in. So yeah, I think there needs to be a truck class, I think there needs to be a rally class, and I think there needs to be a hyper class. Okay, so let's go ahead and go into this, shall we? First, we're going to stick with uh, muscle cars, and we'll move on. All right, so some of the vehicles I'm looking at right now might include, well, the Burger Shot Stallion. That could go into a new class, like the Rally class. That would be kind of cool because there's several libraries. Uh, the Custom Donk, uh, let's not talk about the Custom Donk. The less said about that, the better. Let's see, next, uh, maybe the Dominator, maybe the... Uh, you know, Pisswasser Dominator, the Redwood Gauntlet, these two could do good in a, uh, for example, a rally class. Oh, you thought I was going to miss you two, huh? That's right, these two. The Moonbeams. The Moonbeam Custom and the regular Moonbeam. What does this look like to you? 
Does, does the thought of a muscle car come in your head when you see these? <laughs> no. These should obviously be in the vans category. These are vans, not muscle cars. Oh, and look at something else that's obviously not muscle cars. The rat loader and the rat truck. These should be in a new class, the truck class. Along with the slam van as well as the slam van custom. They're not muscle cars. These are trucks. As well as the Yosemite, one of the newest vehicles in the uh, game. It also came out last week along with the Pariah, part of the Doomsday Heist. This is not a muscle car, Rockstar. This is a truck. It belongs in a truck category, along with some of the other vehicles I mentioned. Okay, so let's go over to utility. We're gonna go to utility real quick to talk about one of my favorite trucks that gets so misused. And I, I love this little truck, okay? I love the Vapid Saddler. There's so many different like options it comes with. It's sad that you can't simply just take a Saddler into Los Santos Customs and just pick and choose which options you want. You have to just go out and find it, which is you know my old school like Saddler rent video. That's what it was all about. But anyways, this is a truck. It's not a utility. I realize that these say trucks too. Like so, technically these could be trucks. But the point is, if there's a vehicle in utility that really doesn't belong here, it's the Vapid Saddler. This is a truck. Okay, I'm just saying, Rockstar. I'm just saying. Now let's go to vans, because you know, we were talking about vans a moment ago. <laughs> As you can notice, right off the bat, there are several vehicles that obviously don't belong in the vans class. The Bisons. Yes, there's several variations of the Bison. None of these belong in a vans class. The Bobcat does not belong in the vans class. Once again, case in point. A truck class would be very nice for these, the Bisons as well as the Bobcat. Let's see anything else that may pop up. Okay, so everything else is right. All this other stuff looks like it fits in the Vans class. And look, you move like these out of the way, you have plenty of room to put the moonbeams in here, Rockstar. Now we're gonna head to an interesting class that you could possibly put the trucks in, but then again, some of the trucks I feel don't really work in the off-road class. So this is gonna be very interesting. It's like, should we move these into off-road, these other trucks I mentioned, or should we move some of the trucks in off-road also into my hypothetical truck class, like the Bodhi, you know, Trevor's truck, maybe that should be moved. The Dubsta 6x6, maybe, maybe not. The Dune Loader, obviously a truck. You know, some of these definitely feel like that they're off-road vehicles, you know, some of these have an off-road vibe to it. Others, more of a truck, you know, that's what I'm getting from some of these. This thing... I don't know, that looks, that's more efficient as a golf cart, you know, performance-wise. Okay, so uh, the, the Riata, aka the Bronco, which was just added to Grand Theft Auto Online for the, part of the Doomsday Heist. It works in off-road, just like the Rebel works in off-road, and the Sand Kings, and the uh, Trophy Truck, but I don't know. Some of these, I feel like, could also benefit from being in a truck class. The same goes for the Desert Raid. But then again, some of these also work for off-road. So maybe what you could do is you could just have it to where uh, certain vehicles uh, work in more than one class. Maybe a multi-class type vehicle, like work in a truck class and an off-road class as well. So you could race them in either or. But definitely there's a few of these I would like to move into a truck class too. But enough about trucks, let's move on to sports classics. Now for the most part, I feel like Sports Classic is solid. There's a few exceptions, like the Frankenstein from the Halloween Surprise years ago. This has more of a, I don't know, muscle feel to it. I mean, we have the hot rod in the muscle category. We might as well move this into the muscle category as well, along with the rat rod. The rat rod, I feel like this thing should be in the muscle too. So maybe take the rat rod and the... Uh, Frankenstein out of the uh, sports classics and move it on over there. I mean, that's what I would do. And feel free and let me know below in the comment section if there's a vehicle that you would like to see moved from one class to another class or if there's a class that you would like to see created to facilitate some of these vehicles currently in the game. Okay, so from the sports class, we're going to probably the class with the most vehicles in it that I feel like should be moved or reallocated the sports class. Now we're gonna start things off at the uh, top of our list. Okay, so the Buffalo is definitely 
I feel like this should be a muscle car. I mean, yeah, it's four doors. I get it. But this screams muscle car. That should be in the muscle car. Our sedan. But maybe the sedan class. I could work in the sedan class, too. It would just wipe the floor of most of the sedans. Or would it? Because I'm going to talk about some of the sedans in a minute. Okay. So um, these vehicles, I think, should be moved. In sports, are uh, the Retro Custom, the Custom Safari... I would like these moved to what I'm calling the Rally class. And I would also like to see possibly maybe the Drift Tampa as well as the uh, LG Retro Custom. Maybe have these moved to a Retro class. I mean a Rally class as well. So move these to a Rally class along with the Comet Safari and the uh, Comet Retro Custom. And then let's see. What else do I want? I, I would probably move the Lynx. It's a very expensive sports car, but it's... It, doesn't perform very well, so you might as well just throw it in another class entirely, especially since it has all these racing liveries. Along with the Ominous, I would throw the Ominous into that same category I speak of, the Rally class. It would just be cool. I mean, some people would probably argue that maybe we should go ahead and put the uh, the Dinka Jester race car and the uh, Masako, the Masakro race car into that class too. I mean, I could go along with that if, if that's what you think. I mean, it would work. It would be kind of cool to have that. All right, so what else do I think should be reallocated to a different class that's currently in sports? Well, like I mentioned a moment ago, the Ubernock Sentinel Classic. I don't feel like this belongs in the sports section, especially since it's not even in the top five or the top ten, top ten in sports. It should be either A, in the sports classics, or maybe in a coupe class, or the compact, or maybe also move it over to a rally class. And here's another uh, Sprunk Buffalo. This should not be in the sports class. I would like to see that move to a rally class. Along with possibly, well, maybe not the Sultan. Maybe the Sultan RS. Uh, definitely the Tropos Rally because it has the name Rally in it. So it would be very fitting to move that over into the uh, rally as well. And the, uh, yeah. But last but not least, the Shafters. we got to talk about the Shafters. Why? Did these two ever get added to sports is beyond me. The LWB should definitely not be in the sports class. That is a sedan. Now, the V12, yes, it performs very well. It has a badass engine in it. But at the same time, I'd rather them take the V12 and the LWB and move them to the sedans. I think the armored versions are actually in the sedans. Let's look at that real quick. We're going to go over to sedans, and I'm, I'm going to check that out. Okay, so I think their armored variants are already over here in the sedan class. So that's what doesn't make sense. See, look, the armored version of the LWB and the armored version of the V12, both already in sedans. So just because they don't have armor means that they're no longer sedans. I'm sorry, they're still sedans. They should still be over here with the sedan classes and maybe even move the, the sprunk buffalo over here as well to add some i don't know some spice to the uh, much needed uh, sedan class and what's really sad is you look at the coupes and the coupes are really neglected there's only like a hand well i mean there's a few coupes but there hasn't been a new coupe uh for a while since further adventures in finance and felony but anyways let's move on to the supers now this is going to be interesting because some of these cars should stay in the super class. Some of them, depending on your point of view on the subject, might benefit from being moved to uh, a hyper class. But let's just talk about the vehicles that should be moved to other classes. I think the, the Vapid Bullet, along with the Infernus, well, maybe not the Infernus, because we already have the Infernus Classic, but maybe at the very least, the Bullet should be moved to the Sports Classic category. Or, or... We just go with uh, my other idea regarding hypers. We'll get to that in a moment. I want to talk about one more vehicle. The, let us see, the Voltic. Yes, the Voltic should be moved to the sports class. It's too damn slow to be in uh, the super class. The same goes for the uh, Cyclone. The Cyclone should also be moved. They're too damn slow to be supers. So the Coil Cyclone, an electric car, and the Coil Voltic, also an electric car, should all be reallocated, moved over to the sports class. Now, the Sultan RS. Let's talk about the Sultan RS really quick. Where, oh, where are you, Sultan RS? Oh, where, oh, where could you be? 
I need to talk to you real quick. Just a little word between you and me, Sultan RS, because I like you, I always have, but there's a problem. Well, there you are. Sultan RS, you're a fun little car, but you don't belong in the super class. No, you don't. I'm sorry. I know, I know that's, I'm not trying to hurt your feelings, but you too would benefit from being moved to a rally class. I'm just saying, Sultan RS, I'm just saying. Still love you though. Okay, so let's talk about Hyperclass. This is one that I'm probably not the expert on. I'm not going to be able to properly tell you which uh, of these supercars should be moved to a Hyperclass and which should be left in a, a Superclass, but I'm envisioning like a class above Super because we have a lot of newer supercars now that basically make some of the older, like top of the line uh, supercars obsolete. And it's, it's sad how obsolete some of these older supercars are. And they're still very good racing cars, like the Adder and a few others as well, like the Entity, the uh, Zantorno. The Zantorno still can hold its own a little bit, but there's a few others you may see on this list that at one time you know performed a lot better until a few DLCs went by and Rockstar added uh, some other new supers that pushed them further down the line. I would say take some of these you know, newer supercars at the top and bump them up to a brand new category, the Hyperclass. And in that way, you would have a little bit more variation. So you would have the Superclass with some of the slower supercars that, that are still good supercars that still perform very well on the track. And then for like the really outstanding, crazy high performance supercars, you know, put them in the Hyperclass. So that's what I feel like Rockstar should do when it comes to uh, reclassification of uh, some of these vehicles. Obviously a few that we went over today. Now, I don't expect everybody to agree with me 100% on where some of these vehicles should go or the, uh, the classifications I recommend, like a truck class, a rally class, a hyper class. But at the same time, it's hard to deny the fact that from that list that I just showed you guys, there's a lot of vehicles in this game right now that don't belong in their current class and hopefully sooner or later maybe if we're lucky if enough of us you know tweet rockstar email rockstar and ask them beg with them plead them to please take the time to sit down at a table whoever's in charge of making that decision that call regarding classing vehicles and go forward and fix this problem because some of the leaked vehicles that are coming with drip apocalypse 2018 once again misclassed there's an SUV that's going to be, what, a, a sports or a supercar? And then there's a few other vehicles I noticed that are like, once again, I'm like, why is it going to be in that class? Why is that going to be in that class? That does not make sense. So seriously, Rockstar, I sincerely hope that eventually, when you're not too busy, could you please reclass some of these vehicles and maybe even create some new classes as well. Okay, so as promised, next week's Discuss video idea was submitted by one of you, Lunchhawks. Shout out to Lunchhawks. Could you do a Discuss on Grand Theft Auto Online character history? Maybe just discuss or speculate his or her background before the events of Grand Theft Auto Online. So this idea gave me an idea for kind of like a protagonist fanfic or fake history. Okay, let's not use fake history anymore. Let's, or fake news. Let's use fanfic. All right, so what we do know about the protagonist is that he or she came from Liberty City. That doesn't mean that they were from Liberty City. It just means that your protagonist originally flew into Los Santos from Liberty City. Where else they came from, that is entirely up to you. I want you to come up with a, a sentence or maybe a paragraph, your own fanfic about where your protagonist character in Grand Theft Auto Online came from. Was it Liberty City? What was their life like in Liberty City? Why did they decide to go into a life of crime? What led them to taking that flight from Liberty City, leaving everything behind, and flying out west to uh, Los Santos? Let me know your fanfics. I would love to see what you guys come up with. By the way, there is a deadline. Submit your fanfics via the comment section, Twitter, or Facebook by this Friday, that's the deadline, December 22nd, in order to be included in next week's Discuss video. So start cracking, get that brain working, and start turning out an idea for your protagonist's Grand Theft Auto Online fanfic.